What is up, YouTube? This is Adam Love, Jade the Pirate, Blue, Blue Jay, whatever you may know me as. I normally don't make videos about wrestling or what's going on in the wrestling world. I think I've made maybe one, and that was like Royal Rumble predictions back in 08 or 09, I think. So yeah, needless to say, I don't typically make wrestling videos because there's plenty of other people out there to do that. But this time I felt like talking about something that I recently saw that was pretty awesome and nostalgic and badass and gave me a lot of hope for WWE TV in the future. And that is Kane has returned with a mask and a different attire than what he was sporting before he was put on the shelf by Mark Henry. Kayfabe wise. My initial reaction, I didn't think it was going to happen when it did happen. I was watching wrestling and I was kind of half ass paying attention. And then, you know, just out of nowhere, pyro, stage pyro goes off, lights go out, and I'm just, I knew immediately it was Kane. Um, I'm just like, yes, 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 yes. My mom was in the living room. I'm just sitting there marking out on the couch. Just yes, 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 yes. And my mom was just looking at me weird. I'm like, They've been talk there's been talks about Kane coming back with a mask. He's been being promoted for like the last month or so. And I'm I'm just fucking I'm amped up and I wanna see it. I hope he has a mask. And needless to say he comes out with a mask. Uh the, the my reaction to the metal mask, my first thing was like I knew that was not the real mask. I knew that it had to be something underneath it. And uh then he got towards the ring, lights came on and saw his attire and I'm not I'm not overly like, impressed with the new attire, but I'm also, I, there's not too much I can bitch about because it's not like you want to spend a whole lot of time going over the top with a revamp to the gimmick that, who knows how long he's going to be here, or it's not really revamping the gimmick, but you know what I'm saying, the, the, revamping the, the attire, uh, it's different, it has a flame on the side, and what appears to be almost like lumped threads woven in. Like, and he's wearing the the tank top that he was wearing before, but it's just solid black with the threads that appear to be woven in, comes down, makes a V, goes down and goes around the belt, and then goes down around the left leg, similar to his uh, barbed wire stitching he kind of had. I, th I, I believe that was what he had on the last pair of tights that he wore. And, uh, you know, and the mask... The mask itself, uh, I waited until WWE.com put the pictures up of what he looks like now with the mask, because I was hoping they would have a shot that was taken with a flash, so we could see what the mask actually looked like, because, you know, Raw went off the air with uh, the red glowing lights, so everything was just that red tint, so you couldn't really make out anything. And, uh, but that's what the, this picture right here, that's what it looked like on Raw. And I can't, I haven't found a picture of what the Flash looks like yet, but on WWE.com, I'll include a link in the description, it has a picture taken with Flash of what Kane's new mask looks like, and it's actually, it's nothing like anybody thought it was going to look like. A lot of people thought it was going to be the 97 look without the, ma the mouthpiece. Um, I don't really know if it's that or if it's the, the, one he, the one he debuted when he first lost the mouthpiece that was kind of like a red splashy look to it but it, the the mask is practically all red and towards the bottom you can sort of make out either like rounded lines or maybe it's the spikes from the 97 look but it's you know it's not anything really to you know it's like oh my god it's the coolest looking thing ever and oh my god it's not a throwback it's just it's kind of a new thing and I think it works I mean it's it makes Kane look like a monster, and that's that's what I'm hoping that they're doing this with this. Uh, what did I think when he attacked Cena? Uh, I marked out because I personally hate the Cena character as of late. Not his ability for trolls that might you know go on that. Cena can fucking wrestle. He's proved that with Punk. He's proved that time and time again that he can wrestle. It has nothing to do with that. It's just the way he's booked lately. Uh, but, you know, things might be changing with the, uh, a possible heel turn on the horizon. Who knows what they're doing with that. I'm thinking that, uh, from what I've read, is that they wanted to have Kane return as a heel. And I personally think that's just a stupid idea to book him at either as face or heel, because he's just Kane, and he should just, you know, destroy whoever he wants. He doesn't really need a good or bad motive to do so. And the problem with WWE booking is if they want to force feed us Kane as a heel, the problem is Kane just returned. 
in a, apparent, it looks like his first feud is going to be with John Cena, who the majority of the audience has turned on, you know, except for the, the children. So a lot of people are still going to cheer for Kane, and I really hope that they don't take that as, like, they've been hearing cheers from Mark Henry lately, so there's been a discussion of turning him babyface, which I would see as a terrible idea. But the only thing that's, that the, the mystique about this, the return of Kane is, you know, he's, he's back with the mask. So that kids, you know, he's been off TV, what, three to four months? In WWE time, that's like, that's, that's years. That is years. You know, as fast as their storylines progress and feuds go and come and come and go, as just... So Kane hasn't been in the minds of anybody until the last four weeks where they started airing these little vignettes for him. And... I just think booking him either or is just a terrible decision at this point. Just book him as a monster like he was when he debuted. You know, he wasn't, he didn't go after the good or bad guys with any special reason. Just, he just destroyed people. And I think if they want to make him a monster, make him a monster. But that doesn't necessarily mean he has to be healed. And so I think that, leave, leave that out of it. Leave that out of his booking. Book him against whoever. The fans are going to cheer him anyways because he's been around for so long. I mean, even when he was, you know, destroying Taker week in and week out, pay-per-view after pay-per-view, people were still cheering for him because he's Kane. They're conditioned to like Kane no matter what he does because Kane is just Kane. The Kane character is likable whether he's burning people alive or attaching Shane McMahon's balls to a, a car battery and electrocuting him. It just, it just, that's the way it is. Uh, thoughts on the future of this character? It kind of goes with the heel and face thing. I don't, I hope they don't turn around and start booking him as a face just because the fans are cheering him where he, he's all fan friendly again and he plays up to the crowd. I want, I want to see him do, I want to see him do him and not worry about anybody else. Just destroy things, maybe go for world title runs here and there, but I don't want him, I don't want him playing to the crowd anymore. Uh, thoughts on the future is I hope that this is a main event act until he's done. Um, a lot of people think this might be his last run, and if that's so, I, I don't know if I'd have him win the Royal Rumble, but at least break his record of, what is it, 11 eliminations? Or did that get, did it get up the ante? I can't remember. But, I think he should break his own record, possibly win it, you know. Um, then go on to face Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship, you know. Come full circle with that booking. Um, I just, I pray that it doesn't go back to some mid-card jobbing act. I know Kane, you know, there was that long period of time when he was putting over mid-card talent and, you know, upper mid-carders, like he was a, he was a step towards a championship. Well, I hope that isn't the case anymore because this new, like, he's been refreshed for the first time in, what was he on mass? 2003? Was that what it was? Yeah. So we got almost nine years since his character's been revamped. So, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really excited. And I've never been much of a smart mark or a smart or whatever the hell they're called. I just thought I'd give my thoughts on what they're going to do with Kane and what I thought I would like to see. Whereas I'm not going to bitch if if it happens. I'm just happy to see Kane back on my television because he always, whether he's he's slow or whatever, he's always been a consistent worker and can work any style. Whether he's wrestling Ray or wrestling a Big Show, he's always kept me interested somewhat. He's just he's just a great worker, and I'm glad to see him back. And I'm happy as a wrestling fan. Like, I was fucking giddy. I'm still rather giddy. My heart's not racing anymore, but I seriously watched the clip. Oh, I guess I will include the link of the, the return clip, which is, his return starts at about 4 minutes and 12 seconds to skip all the previous stuff from Mark Henry versus John Cena because that was kind of a snore. But, uh, you know, for the first time in a long time, I was just genuinely excited. I've, I haven't marked out since, I think, Jericho's return, honestly. So, and rumors are he might be coming back too, so I might mark out again on the 2nd of January. We'll see what happens. But I guess, you know, that's about all I really needed to say. Not, I'm not being a dick about it, not saying that they were stupid like a lot of people I see that make videos. I like what I see, and I hope that it keeps getting better from here. I'm a fan of WWE. I always have been. I always will be. So, uh, yeah, fuck the haters, I guess. Later, I'm out.